You're not going to school every day, you're not going to that class every day, which means you have to know what you have to do in order to get that A. I'm studying and I've learned a thousand more ways to study because I am being more responsible about it. The one thing I've learned is that I am being more cautious about how I'm studying and where I'm studying, how I'm doing it, how I'm doing my homework, I'm paying more attention to directions than I ever have before. And that's because this is my last grade I will ever get in this kind of class. I don't ever have to take this class again unless I fail, and I won't want them to fail because this is what college are look at the rest of my life. So it's definitely important for me to get good grades, not only that, but definitely getting that like sustainable like achievement in my head because this is it. This is college. I don't go to class after this. This is the last step in my academic career. Continuing on, the next experience I've had is definitely creating a new kind of friend. So like I said, you go out with the old and in with the new with friends and so what that means is that I'm definitely meeting new people that I never probably would have met before. So what that means is that I'm actually doing things that I'm interested in now. I'm doing classes that I want to do, I'm doing classes that will help me get to where I want to do in my final step in life, getting to my goal in life. So what that means is that I'm basically meeting people that have that same interest and maybe that same goal in mind, which definitely helps with friendships because now we have something even greater in common than my favorite color is blue and I like this show Riverdale as well. It's now not only maybe those two, but it's I want to get this goal as well so maybe one day we can collab together and get this goal at one point together. Another great experience I've learned is how to manage my time. So I am doing, like I said, I'm, I, have a, I have a job now and I have school. So I definitely had to manage my time super well. And you don't have to go to class every day. So that's even worse, I feel like, for some people because sometimes you need a daily reminder of, hey, don't forget this, it's going to be happening soon. But you don't have that. You maybe have it once or twice or three times a week at the most. So what that means is that you definitely have to be comfortable about what you're doing. You have to know what you're doing, you have to get a planner, definitely organize your life a little better to make sure that you can get the best you can be in your grades, not only that, but having a job at the same time. My experience is getting myself out there. I am a very close in person and it takes me a while to open up to my teachers and friends that you can't really do that in high in college because it's a really a semester you have to talk to people. You have a semester you sit in a class for 15 weeks at the most and you sit there, you do the class, and you probably will never see those people again unless you make a connection. And that's super important. So you want to make sure when you go to college you're making that first impression, breaking those boundaries that you normally would of just sitting there and like normally I sit down and I observe the class. I've now learned to observe the class, the first two classes, and then getting myself out there by asking maybe a friend, hey, do you want to do a study group? Or, hey, I realize that we're both having the same problem in this vicinity of the chapter. Maybe we can work together or go to the training lab together to see what we're doing. Or, hey class, let's create a group me and see what we can do together to make this class a little more special. And that's what you gotta do. You gotta break boundaries in college. It's the time to see what you like. And a lot of people say, college is when you find yourself. And it's not necessarily finding yourself, but it's finding new things that you enjoy. Normally, like in college, in college, you have so many other things, you meet so many other people, and the high school is more like basic. It's, you have a college game, you have this, you have that. It's not much more culture diversity than it is in college. So I think when they say trying to find yourself, it's not only sexually, which I know a lot of people think when they hear it, but it's mostly just like, okay, what am I interested in and what can it change what I want to do the rest of my life? And sometimes you find things in college you never thought you would enjoy and it actually changes your view on the rest of your life and change, maybe changes your goals. Another experience I had to go through is kind of having to push away from being a high school student. And what I mean by that is that normally, like, just kept coming was homecoming. And it's kind of like when you sit down and you're like, oh, well, I would normally go to homecoming, but I don't really want to anymore. 
And that's like okay feeling because listen, a lot of the time, like I said, you're losing friends. And it's about homecoming is like about the time where you pretty much stop talking to the people and you're like, okay, I have new friends. So, like I said, I do have a boyfriend who goes to my, my old high school, or my high school I'm enrolled in now, and it was homecoming, and all of my friends, and my friends are also friends with his friends, and we're mostly all dual enrollment students. So we were all sitting down, and we're like, you know what, I don't think homecoming's really a great idea for us. And it's not only because we wanted to punish the guys that went to the high school, it was that... My friends, me, my friend Cassidy, my friend Erica, we all just kind of sat down and we're like, we don't even have any more friends at the high school. I would have to say I've had an overall good experience. I haven't had a bad professor. I haven't picked a bad class I don't like. I haven't had an experience where I have a really bad class. I've been able to manage my time really well. I don't have a problem with doing anything and the great thing is is that it's most of the time free so not only am I getting free college but I'm getting a free experience and it's great because I really love this experience that I've been going through I've learned more about myself I learned more about the culture I live in I've learned more about my friends I've learned more about what I want in life and it's definitely an overall experience I would recommend this to anyone now going in I've had a lot of people ask me well, you've taken AP. I have taken AP, and you guys want me to do my experience in AP. I can definitely do that kind of video as well. Um, I did about two classes about AP, and I can definitely give you some of my insights about whether or not how it's differentiated from this experience to that experience. But going over well, that is my experience. And if you guys have any other questions about dual enrollment, I can definitely answer those for you. That was just kind of like my experience that I thought about when people are like, so what do you feel about dual enrollment? And I... Honestly, when people ask me that question, I sit down and I go, well, it's great for me, but it might not be for you. Everyone is different. So my key to you as you're watching this today is that try it for yourself. Don't go all in your first semester. Like what I did my first semester, I started in the fall of last year, about a year, a year ago today, and I started with new student experience, which is like the basic college class, kind of introduces you to college, kind of gives you a stand-up of like, what, to, what you need to do to sign up for college, kind of like an intro to college, kind of like a freshman experience in high school. I definitely feel like that was a great class to start with. I learned more about myself. Um, we did something called a Gallup test, and that kind of by my five strengths. And that's definitely helped me choose my classes and choosing my professors. But that was definitely a great idea to see whether or not dual enrollment was a good class, a good path for me. I learned it was. I loved it a lot more in AP. I felt more comfortable with it. I felt less stressed. I felt a lot more comfortable with doing a, a college class. Not only that, but I knew I was going to get the credit no matter what. Um, so I definitely had an overall well experience. It might have been my professor that time, um, but I loved it my professor, I love my class, so I continue on with it, and I still love my professors and my classes, um, but other than that, I haven't had a very overall bad experience. I mean, of course, we have the bad experience of, oh, he graded my test, like, super hard, maybe he hates me, but it's really not that. It's just college. It's going to be a different experience than you have normally. It's not like middle school. It's not like high school. It's not like elementary school. It's different. It's real life. They're going to treat you like adults, so you have to be ready to be an adult. If you're not ready to be an adult, then I don't suggest that. Okay, well that is all for me today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I know it was full of content, and I'm really sorry. I was trying to space it out, but, you know, it's just, it's something I'm really passionate about. Um, so if you guys have any other questions about the dual enrollment, or if you want that AP um, experience video, I can definitely do that for you guys. Just comment down below what you want my next video to be about this. I will be having a video coming up. I've got some Halloween ideas, so definitely stay tuned for that. Um, without further ado, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you're still watching, I definitely can, would like for you to consider subscribing to my channel. Again, I do videos like this, and I do advice. So definitely consider subscribing to my channel today by hitting that uh, red button down below in the description box. Um, without further ado, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next week. Bye!